Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trey back again here bringing another MMA related video. So this one's going to be talking about uh, Tito Ortiz uh, after UFC 140. Um, and, you know, something that's kind of been coming up for a while. This is going to be a discussion video, so I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Please feel free to comment. And um, just right off the bat, just so that everybody knows, um, what we'll do is we'll do a voting system. Um, right off the bat, I'll let you know if... Uh, if, if you think that at the end of this video that, uh, that Tito Ortiz should retire, give me a thumbs up. If you think he should continue fighting and know he should, um, you know, he, he should keep fighting and he should not retire, then give this video a thumbs down. That way we know, you know, uh, what people think. We'll kind of set it up as like a poll. So thumbs up means he should retire. Thumbs down means he shouldn't. Okay, so let's get into it. So, yeah, we just saw UFC 140. Uh, he faced uh, Rogerio Noguera, Little Nog. Um, you know, he's, um, he's had not... He hasn't done so well the last little while. His um, his last eight fights, he's won six and one. So he's only won one out of his last eight fights. And that was against Ryan Bader. We all know about that one. And that was an impressive victory. I'm not taking anything away from Tito. After that victory, I thought, wow, Tito Ortiz is back. Tito Ortiz is, you know, he's ready to go. He is on point. Everything is, is good with him. He's training hard. He's fast. You know, everything's good. Submission skills are there. You know, that he never really used to have before that. I mean, I don't remember Tito, you know, throwing submissions on guys uh, early on in his career. Uh, more just, you know, taking them down, punishing them, uh, ground and pound. So, you know, with that kind of a record in his past eight fights, what do you guys think? I mean, we just seen him against uh, Rogerio, and it, it wasn't good, okay? He landed, I think, uh, maybe a good high kick. I think it was a right high kick, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a couple shots against Rogerio, but, you know, Rogerio is not a top five light heavyweight. I mean, he's probably a top 20 light heavyweight, but probably not even a top 10 light heavyweight, in my opinion. He's probably somewhere between 10 and 15, if you're going to rank him. So, you know, Tito losing in that fashion in the first round to Rogerio like that, you know, VI stoppage like that was, I mean, that was pretty bad. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Now, Tito's huge at 205, and he looked really big for this fight, um, bigger than he usually does. Now, I'm not sure if he was training hard enough for this fight, if he was a little out of shape. We know he was in great shape for the Bader fight, and maybe this time he wasn't quite there. But, you know, this was not a good look for him. I mean, it definitely wasn't a good look for him. To a guy that was, you know, used to reign at the top of the division, and now, you know, after all his surgeries and stuff, like we've heard in his last fights, oh, you know, I just had this surgery, I had this surgery with my neck and that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying that he wasn't telling the truth. He probably did. Um, but you can only go on for so long. The body can only take so much. So at this point, you know, I'm kind of, I've kind of, made up my mind on this. In my opinion, I really think Tito Ortiz should should retire at this point. I mean, losing to Rogerio like that, I just I, I, I seem to think of Tito as the type of fighter that when he's when he's healthy and he's in good shape, he should be beating these types of guys. You know, he should be at least Tito Ortiz should always be a top five fighter, you know, based on the way he was before. Anyway, if I, I mean if he wants to continue fighting, I guess he can, but he'll be one of those type of like Ken Shamrock type guys where he just, you know, fights just just for entertainment, just for, you know, interest in, in, in fights and, you know, his fans get to see him, you know, fight some guys that are well known. But he's never gonna be at the top again. I think that's clear, you know. Um, he's never gonna be a top five again, probably. He's never gonna be able to beat um, you know, John Jones or any of these top guys. I mean he's not even close at this point, losing to Rogerio like that. Definitely not a good look. Um, should he continue fighting? I don't think he should. I really don't. Do I think he'll get cut by the UFC? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, he did them a favor last time against Rashad, and he had a pretty good showing against uh, Rashad. But this time he didn't. He definitely did not have a good showing here. He really should have won that fight, and to get stopped like that, you know, and everything, that was really, that was really bad. So I know there's a lot of Tito fans out there, and I am. I've been watching Tito, you know, since the beginning, pretty much, but. Even, you know, I have to recognize there's a time when you got to hang him up. I mean, if you look at Fedor, for example, you know, Fedor keeps fighting even though, you know, he's obviously not the best anymore and that kind of stuff. I mean, if Tito wants to be just like Fedor and just, you know, just fight just for the sake of fighting, then fine. But, you know, if his goal is to be a champion again, you know, we have to be realistic here. His body's not holding up. His reflexes aren't holding up. It's just not going to happen, guys. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinion. But, um, you know, when it comes down to this question, i got to say, yeah, I believe Tito Ortiz should retire. That's it for this one. See you guys in the next one later.